Someone asked me how you triple three-fourths of a cup. So if you have a three-fourths of a cup in a recipe, you need to triple it. I'll show you kind of the visual way real quick, and then I'll do it like the math way. So we have our three-fourths cup. So each cup is divided into four pieces, and I have one, two, three pieces shaded in. That's three-fourths of a cup. So here's our three-fourths cup, three-fourths cup, three-fourths cup. If I want to take and add these all together, it might be easiest just to think, let's take one-fourth and put it here, and one-fourth and put it here. And pretty quickly, you can see we have one cup, two cups, and then just a fourth cup. So if you triple three-fourths cup, so three times three-fourths, you get one, two cups, and a fourth. So you get two and one-fourth cups. That's kind of a nice visual way to think about it. Let's do it the math way. We're going to take three-fourths times three, but I'm going to call it three over one. That's still three, just everything lines up. So three times three, that equals nine. And then we bring the four across to the bottom, we get nine fourths, which isn't really that useful if you're cooking. But we can change this improper fraction to a mixed number because four, two times four, that gives us eight with one left over. Then we bring the four across, and we have two and one fourth. That's what we figured out before. So three times three fourths, that gives us nine fourths. We can change that to this mixed number. And you can use two cups and then get a fourth cup and measure out what you need. That's how you triple three fourths of a cup. I hope this helped. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.